Hey, what's up guys? Boogie the Trainer, Boogie Fitness back again. If you're new to the channel, please like the video, subscribe, and I'm just here to give you some great fitness information just to help you life, just to help you improve your fitness lifestyle in one way or another, all right? So today I'm gonna talk about why your weight isn't the problem. No, whether you're overweight, whether you're skinny, it doesn't matter, skinny or fat, that isn't the problem. The problem is food your diet we all struggle with diet why because it's easier to eat why because food tastes good why because you can eat every other hour but you can't work out every other hour you know what i mean so the focus today is just just really talking about the food and the diet i know so many people struggle with food or with diet and i do too okay but there is a way to actually solve this if you know you struggle with diet or food there is a way to fix this and the reason i decided to make this video because so many people forget they learn people focus on losing the weight but they never focus on how to keep the weight off that's why you see so many people work out so much starve themselves lose the weight but then a month later two months later down the road they gain the weight back that's because they skip the most fundamental part of the weight loss journey of the fitness journey or fitness lifestyle which is diet because there's one there's only there's only one thing that uh remains significant and re remains forever or unchanged among all of us is the fact that we love to eat and you are proud you will eat until the day you die even if you can't eat through your mouth if you go to the hospitals you see that people eat through tubes they, they have tubes connected to their bodies that feed them so we are always going to be able to eat because if you don't eat you're probably going to die that's why i don't preach starving yourself or eating very 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 low calories just to lose weight just learn how learn how to have a balanced diet so it means you have enough carbohydrates you have enough fats and you have enough proteins to help you run your body to help you fuel your body but also if you learn what you eat you'll be able to have to have fun and have a balanced life that means if you're a friend of yours invites you to a party and there's a there's uh they're giving out cake and you know different kind of food that you like to eat pizza whatever you won't feel left out or you won't feel guilty for having those meals because you know how you know that tomorrow i can go back to my diet and you know i'll be fine i'm not going to gain weight overnight or i'm not going to struggle to uh, this one meal won't make me gain 50 pounds you know so in other words learn to develop a good relationship with food how do you develop a good relationship with food by learning exactly what kind of foods you should eat and what different foods help you with when you eat them so for example when you eat an apple which is a mainly a carbohydrate and when you eat a piece of chicken which is a mainly protein source those foods give you different nutrients but also they fuel, fuel you, your body in a different way the, the the apple the piece of apple will you know give you the energy to move and function the way you want and then the chicken will help you with the recovery of your muscles repair your muscle tissue and also build your muscle tissue you see so if you learn the fundamentals of diet you won't be going on a crazy diet starving yourself just to lose weight but also you'll be able to have a balanced life, balanced diet, balanced, balanced lifestyle. So you can always, you know, enjoy all the kind of foods you eat, but you at the back of your mind, you know, you are supposed to have those kind of foods in moderation or in a balanced way, but also it will be sustainable. Ask yourself this, what would you rather do? Would you rather stick to a diet that only works for two months or would you rather stick to a diet that you can follow for the rest of your life? So you need to learn how to have a balanced diet or a sustainable diet, which means it's not a quick fix. It's something you're going to learn to do 
to sustain you for the rest of your life. So you don't always lose weight and then gain weight after you leave whatever kind of diet you're doing. So it's for me the way I, the only thing I can tell you is it's easy. Learn what different kinds of food, what kind of nutrients the different type of food give you and then have those in moderation. No, let's say on a plate of food, you should have a, a carbohydrate sauce or clean. Now we are talking about clean meals. Have a carbohydrate sauce, have some vegetables, have a protein sauce. So if you have rice on the side, you can have some chicken and then you can have some vegetables. Okay. And that's it. There's already fats in the, in the chicken. So you're good. If you were trying to have a snack, you can have some nuts or peanuts. You can have some yogurt. There's uh, fats, there's protein, and there's carbohydrates. So if you learn to have a balanced diet that's sustainable over a good number of years. So even if you lose the weight that you're trying to lose, you'll be able to continue this diet forever. You know, but some people do shady diets that only work for now. And as soon as they st they're tired of eating very low calories, they binge, they crave that extra junk and they can't have it or they're scared to have the extra junk because they think they're going to gain all their weight back. And then before you know it, they gain all the weight back because they're back to eating the crazy junk and eating very high calories they were doing before. So. I'm just here to tell you, learn the fundamentals of diet, learn how much you should eat and learn, especially learn what kind of foods you should eat. Once you learn that, you'll be able to have a balanced diet that you can sustain for the rest of your life. Okay. So even if you lose the weight, you can keep the weight off. Now, I didn't want to focus on working out today or talking about cardio and all that, because that's also another part of that would be a different video. You know, that's something we should all be doing. But I don't care how much you're working out. If your diet is trash, you're always going to struggle. So, but, so that's why I wanted to just focus on diet in this video. Again, learn what you should eat. Learn what the different kinds of food help with your body. Okay. And then learn to have a balanced diet. Okay. So eat in moderation, depending how much you work out or depending how active your life is. If you are mainly sitting in the office for your job all day, you're not going to eat as, as much as someone who's, who works at a construction site and is always walking, walking around for their job or carrying stuff. So those are the things you should learn. So me, which means if you are mostly sitting down uh, in your office all day, you are going to eat less carbohydrates or less calories than someone who, who works at a construction site, who walks around and carries items uh, all day. You get that. So if you learn those small different fundamentals of diet, you'll be good. You'll be able to sustain your weight loss or sustain your, your physique or gain and get your physique goals that you're trying to work on. All right. Like this video. If you find this information helpful, subscribe to my channel, comment down below your fitness questions until next time, YouTube. Peace.